Genesis 19, verse 27 says that Abraham went early in the morning to the place where he had stood before the Lord. Abraham had a special place where he met with God. So did Daniel. When his life was threatened, the scripture says, in his upper room he knelt three times that day and prayed and gave thanks before God as was his custom. Jesus too had a special place. The scripture says before daylight, he departed to a solitary place and there he prayed. Here's an idea for you. Establish a God place in your life. And when problems and pressures threaten to overwhelm you, go to your God place. When you need guidance, go to your God place. Hymnist William Walford penned these time-honored words. Sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer that calls me from a world of care and bids me at my Father's throne Make all my wants and wishes known. In seasons of distress and grief, my soul has often found relief and oft escaped the tempter's snare by thy return, sweet hour of prayer. In the words of Henry Ward Beecher, wherever you have seen God pass, mark that spot and go sit in that window again. Your God place can be anywhere, but it should be somewhere. After you've been there a while, a kind of aura will surround it. You'll create memories of intimate times with God. It will become your sanctuary, which simply means a place of refuge and safety. David wrote, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So call it your God place. Call it your secret place. Make it your sanctuary or whatever you wish to call it. But establish that kind of place in your life and it will become a very cherished and sweet place where you meet with God. I'm Ray Jones, and that is another heart truth for your day.